Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Lady and Quickie. I'm Becky here with Jack and Kelsey. Just looking through my papers because I'm a very important person. Oh, you love a clipboard okay. so much. Well, here's a funny story. So I was really super busy this week and we we're doing a bunch of podcasts. And with one of the guests, um, I was like, I was like, Jack, I'm so busy. I'm flying. Like, I'm not going to be able to make it. Can you get to Staples for me? And she was like, yeah, no problem. And I was like, okay, you need to print off like all of this stuff, print them out and bring all these pictures. And there's like 26 of them. I was like, cause we need it for like an episode. And she was like, okay, okay. And then like, I sat back and I was like, you're dummy. I was like, never mind. I'm put on my iPad. Like it's, it's 2023. Wow. We don't need to print pictures wow. anymore, but I'm such a printed girl. I like to have everything print at. Mm, you want to touch it with your fingers. I want to touch it with my hot fingers. All right, what are we doing? Okay, today is 10 things you don't know about me. Mostly because um, I, you know, I've been in the press cycle of promoting Superfan, and I really have been asking my team to please get me the back page of Us Weekly that says 25 things you don't know about me. Now, that did not happen. So you're doing it here. So I'm <laughs> doing it here because there are interesting things that you need to know about me and these bitches. Oh, wow. And so interesting. And I feel like after all this time, we can still learn things about each other. So okay. let's begin. 10 things you don't know about me, Becca Jack. Number one, what was the color of your first bedroom, Becca Tobin? Bubblegum pink Ooh. wallpaper. And the wallpaper was like pictures of ribbons. Oh. Of just pink ribbons, like Grogan ribbons. Oh, that's cute. It's weird. Wait, it was pink on pink? The whole thing was pink. Like, so like the wallpaper was just bubblegum pink. Yeah. What color with the ribbon? pink ribbons. Oh. Like, did Almost you have like, like mon pink monochrome? Decor? Monochrome. Hmm. Like, was it all pink? Or I'm was pretty it... sure I had a lot of pink decor. Yeah, I'm but sure. I don't remember choosing it. Is what's weird. I think it was what was put together in as a nursery. Yeah, uh, and then I just grew into it. Yep. Yeah, it was so weird. Jacqueline. So when I was a kid, my dad painted my walls blue and then painted clouds like all mm. over my walls but like pink in the clouds so it was like a sunsetty cloud thing so like I felt like I was like living in the clouds that's what I said when I was a kid it was so cute that's and my so dad cute. is like Do you have pictures of it still yeah my dad is like the best artist in the world so it was like oh, right. hyper realistic yeah. looking like the clouds all looked real and it was really cute that's so cute do you guys yeah. want to know something so crazy I'm we're about to have like is this a simulation? Uh -oh. Do you have clouds in your bedroom? I need to tell you something. I had baby pink clouds. Really? I swear to God. Is that Weird. freaking you out? What was it? Like weird. a wallpaper? Okay, so I had in where my bedroom was, the half wall was like, because I'm older than you. Oh, I had a half yeah. wall. Oh, half wall. So the half wall, the bottom to the, like, the build baseboard that they put around the half yeah. was just baby pink. Mm -hmm. And then the top was baby pink and white cloud wallpaper oh, but weird. the clouds were puff paint and i remember you could take your nail and like clip off like take a little cloud oh who I, did that my parents i guess puff paint they, no it wasn't wall? puff paint but the wallpaper was like, like a puffy. thick wallpaper oh, and the, the cloud was like puffy weird oh, i loved cute. it so much and i will tell you something i also didn't pick that out i don't think but i probably did i'll ask my mom one of the things that I remember the most about my childhood is like every two years getting the Sears catalog and my mom letting me pick out a duvet set. Yeah. Oh, she, yeah. There's like a, there's a flyer there's around a your mouth. It's fine. Um, it's probably from Callie. Um, it would be like the Sears catalog would come and they would have like eight kid choices and you would get the bed skirt, mm -hmm. the pillow sham, mm. the pillow and the mm -hmm, sheets. Mm -hmm, and it was mm -hmm. like, what are you going to choose? Do you choose Barbie? Do you choose Care Bear? Do you choose floral? Yeah. Like, oh my God. And because I was an eighties baby, it was very like, I remember my brother's was very like baby blue, dark blue. Like it was very like color block, yeah. you know? Yeah. Oh my God. Anyway. Okay. Good times. Do you guys have a formative earliest memory? I have two. Okay. One was when I was like three years old, my parents used to have like a, it wasn't what, what it was like a, their, their headboard was like a shiny hard material. I don't even know what it, what it was. Steel? No, Brass. it was like white, but it was like, I don't metal, like, but latex. like with like a painted, like, like metal. aluminum. Yeah, and it was really, really slippery. And when I was like three years old, I put lotion on the bottom of my feet. No, you did not. And I went ice skating on their headboard and I slipped and I knocked out my front tooth. <laughs> That's like one of my first memories that I ever had. And my mom told me, because I was talking to her about it this weekend, because I was trying to figure out what my first memory was. Yeah. yeah. Because like, I don't have siblings. We never moved houses. Like right. I don't, didn't yeah. have like big, right. like shifts Moments. happening. 
um, I knocked my front tooth out and then I was so upset about it growing in. Cause you know, when you're younger, it's like, you want glasses and you want yeah. like a brace and yep. you want like, you just wanted braces. that hole in your mouth. I wanted, I was like, I never wanted the tooth to grow back. I wanted to have a, like a toothless smile for like the rest of my life. That's so great. Yeah. That was one of my first memories. Oh my God. And then my other one was my mom got attacked by a goose when we we're at the lake once when I was like two or two or three or three or four. I don't know. I all, uh- I swear to God, I'm in a simulation. (laughs) My first memory is me going in front of a mirror and I got like a stool from the bathroom and I went up on it like I was on a stage Uh and I fell into the mirror and I cut my face up. (laughs) And like, so Becca, when you're a mother and you're like, don't worry, he won't remember falling down. He will remember falling down. It's true. It's true. Mm. Wow. I What's remember yours? putting water on the bathroom floor. This is wasn't my most earliest, but this is reminding me of a time that I put water on the bathroom floor, like the powder room, and put my tap shoes on. Oh my god! <laughs> so you could sing in the rain. See, but like, She's why no, do we want to do so that? that? I could be injured. Oh, because, what? Because I wanted also a cast. But it's like we I want wanted the a broken bone yeah. so badly, so bad, so badly to the point that one day my sister and I were wrestling oh in the god. living room, and she like fell on top of me, which yeah. was not that big yeah. of a deal. And I faked being hurt to the point where we went to the hospital. Yeah, like I literally was like, "Ow, Jessica fell on me, and my arm, my leg is definitely broken." And my parents kept being like, "Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure?" I, play, yeah. I. I literally played the card for like a full hour and she's they're an like, actress. she's not faking it. Like yeah. she's committed to this. Yeah. And my sister knew the whole time. She she's did. like, she, yeah, she's like, I knew how, how hard I fell on you. Like, oh I, my God. And I faked that. And then I went there and they, it was probably them being like, she's fine. Dude. It's like so funny. We all want to get hurt when we're, I kid. wanted a broken bone it's, so bad. It's the attention. It's the attention. It, yeah. <laughs> and like the cool, like getting to go to school for the, like sign my cast. Meanwhile, I've never broken a bone. You guys, I right. have the most embarrassing story. Sorry. I don't mean this to be an early <laughs> life thing, but what? I'll tell you something. I needed attention so bad as a child <laughs> that when I was in fourth grade and I got my like big spacer thing, you know how, like if you got any dental work, you'd have to miss school. Yes. Yeah. I told everyone I was moving. And so, <laughs> and so I was like, this is my last day in school. I'm not going to be here tomorrow. No. I'm leaving town. So you got like a, a goodbye party. <laughs> I didn't get a party, but like all the kids were like, we'll miss you. Yeah. <laughs> and then you like pop up the next and day. And I just came back two days later with a retainer. <laughs> no, that's incredible. <laughs> what a psycho. 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 There was just a meme about oh how dramatic God. kids are. And like when one kid's moving schools, like how it's so dramatic. Yeah. I remember my, my friend Julie Yates was moving to North Carolina. We were probably in fourth grade. And we threw her a going away party and we were all sobbing. And oh we, we started playing the Sarah McLaughlin song, I Will Remember You. Oh, like, like she was dying. dying. <laughs> no. Swear to God. And we were so we were sobbing and no. writing her letters. Well, it is like the end of the world. Remember. And you probably never saw her again. Yeah. yeah. I haven't put that much effort into like losing a person in my no. life. Like when Julie Yates moved to North Carolina, it was over. Never it forget dark. it. Dark. Okay. Um, something you believed that when you were younger, like thinking that the world was black and white because photographs were obviously photos weren't yeah, black and white but you know what I mean yeah yeah I mean I think like one of my biggest fears when I was a kid is quicksand like that's yes. something that you, you thought, thought was you gonna be gonna a way to- bigger <laughs> deal than it ever was <laughs> you're so right quicksand and you know what it also is so funny is like you know dare like yes the, yeah it's yes. like everybody's like I really didn't get offered as many drugs as dare really <laughs> Like threatened to me that I would be. I thought people would be like heroin all the time. This is your brain on drugs or the egg in the skillet. Yes. Oh my God. The way that, again, why I was shadow banned on TikTok posting about the meth commercial that I used to see all the time when I was a kid. Which rocked my world because I had never seen it until like probably a couple weeks ago when you showed it to me. Yeah. And it was, of course you were scarred by that. Like, uh, yes. I was like nine years old watching this. They had so many drug commercials on TV back in the day. Crazy. I remember being, rem- being told so many times that marijuana was a gate- gateway drug. Oh, all the time. I thought that if I smoked it, it was like my life was, was over. over. <laughs> and I finally did my senior year and I was like, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> like, I'm fine. Yeah. My leg. <laughs> I fell. Um, Becca, what do you, something you believed when you were a kid? Well, that's one of them that like, okay. that I was going to become a drug addict. Yeah. Um, uh, that was kind of it. And then like with my parents and, and which is kind of, which is real though. My parents were so crazy, cray, cray, crazy about like seatbelts. Mm. 
And they made it seem like if you got into a fender bender and you did not have a seatbelt on, you were going to die and fly yeah, out the windshield. That's smart yeah, though, because you, you know? probably always wear your seatbelt. And, and that's the thing. And like even now, when we go on like golf cart rides or like the we have like a Polaris around the neighborhood, every time I get in, Zach looks at me. He's like, "Why? Why are you putting on your?" I am like that too. Always. If it's there, it's like, you don't even think about it. I don't even think, but then I'm like, cause if somebody hits us, we're going to die. He's like, it would be so hard. (laughs) There would have to be a cement truck in our neighborhood going 80, like to kill us without your seatbelt on. But I believed it and I still do. Another one is the Bermuda Triangle. Oh yes. Like I thought we would be in there and out of there all the time. (laughs) I thought it was going to be a big threat, you know, (laughs) huge threat. You'd always, you'd have to consciously be trying not to get sucked into the triangle. It's true. It's crazy. Now I'd like to be sucked in. I wonder where that goes. What about you? Um, For me, it was that the Care Bears lived in the clouds. Like I really had, I loved the Care Bears and I had a very (laughs) strong belief that heaven and the Care Bears were like above the clouds. Like I'm not, I was not a well-traveled child. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't, you know, I didn't go on an airplane for the first time until, I mean, listen, I was really lucky in first grade, but like, you know, I was never, I never was on a plane or anything. And so my parents took me to Disneyland, which was like so exciting. Yeah. And we were on the plane and I remember going on, my mom's holding my hand through like the little, cause I was in front of her. And then I got to the top of the clouds and it was like the most emo moment. <laughs> I was looking out and I was like, where the f- <laughs> is heaven? <laughs> And oh, where no. are the Care Bears? Existential. Like it was, I was like, I just figured you went up there and like you were up there. You yeah. know, they're looking down on you from above. Smart. Like, or I, also you could like jump on the clouds. Mm. You know, clouds are also not as fun as you thought they were. Gonna I no, they're not. Find, I thought you could like bounce on them. I do find it weird though that we still like, if you're talking to somebody like, like talking to a dead dog or a dead person, whatever, like, you're looking up. You know what I mean? You're like, right. well, they're technically when they're down. technically not up at all. <laughs> yeah, they're down. It's weird that like even now. I mean, it's so strange. Yeah, I just so felt strange. like there was going to be something better up there. No, there's, and, not. Like, there's not. And there the clouds aren't even solid. They're yeah, just vapor. Okay, last one. Um, a superstition or conspiracy that you are interested in? All of them. Mine is that Vanderpump Rules is all fake. <gasps> oh. I Here's the thing. I don't think it was all fake. Yeah. I had, while watching it, I had this moment where I think once Ariana found out that he cheated, I think everyone got together and was like, mm. we can make. Let's make money. We can but make, without him or with him. I don't know. Because his life is like ruined. Yeah, but like not really. He's going to be on Summer House. He is? Or Winter House or one of those. Didn't you see during the one of the reunions, there was like a Bravo ad and it was like, hey, wouldn't it be crazy if Tom was on Winter House? No. And then it was like, ha ha ha. I don't know if it was Schwartz or Sandoval, but I'm sure oh. it's Sandoval. They're not, I mean. No, Tom Sh- Schwartz was just on Stars on Mars. Yeah. Oh, so it must be Sandoval that's going to be on Winter House. But they did some allegedly. sort of a teaser, allegedly. But I'm I like. I not see that. Their lives aren't really over. Well, not per over, se, but he's so hated. But it would have been over anyways. It's yeah. not like they made him cheat on her. Right. But I think that getting them together and like all that stuff was for the sake of the show. Not really. It's a good conspiracy. Well, I saw this graph about their viewership. It was so f- low they the were gonna get canceled season. yeah it was like it was like up like this in the first couple seasons and then it went down and then like season nine or whatever it was was like on the bottom and then it went back up to like the most viewed it's like i'm not mad at it what's yours jack what was it conspiracy i mean i believe yeah. in every all conspiracy of theory <laughs> all of them every everyone i mean i don't believe in everyone but i'm interested aliens? in everyone aliens is not Are even a conspiracy among us? yes among us on earth they're declassifying so much this information about literally UFOs. what people say <laughs> on these weird websites that absolutely yes. it's not no. even a conspiracy theory they're it's con- confirmed no it's confirmed <laughs> it's confirmed <laughs> i'll show you that i'll it's show you the answer no, what, we're good. To, what about what? the we're conspiracy good. about like among us are most people are lizard bots, people or oh. but like not they're not even humans yeah that it's like there's only a few of us that are actual humans with souls and among us like when you're on an airplane you know how you sit on an airplane and you look around and you're like I wonder what that person's story is I wonder what's yeah. called Sonder yeah the feeling of like what how or is every single person on earth living a life yes like, and it's like it do de- it debunks that because it's like not everybody is I'm not I'm a robot well we're well, actually <laughs> wouldn't, I would not be surprised if every day we Kelty leave you is you <laughs> power down into a closet and they're like I've seen good, it happen good work Kelty Knight tomorrow here's what you have on your docket yeah you plug yourself into the wall <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> um, I my superstition is that if I don't kiss my hand, superstition. We're talking what? about conspiracy. No, conspiracy. This, this, uh, the question was a superstition or conspiracy. Oh, okay. oh those are I two don't... completely different things. Okay. Well, anyway, to end the show, we all love each other so much. <laughs> We're great friends. I if I don't kiss my hand and kiss the door as I walk into a plane, it will crash. Oh, I always pray when the plane takes off. The only time I ever pray. What? These are the same <laughs> things you guys are admitting to right now. You kiss the door of the plane? Yes. Since when? Ever. Every time we've been on, on the plane. When you walk on? As you walk through the door, I kiss and hit smack. Like the door opening is here and I smack the side of the plane. That is so interesting. And sometimes I have a lot of shit going on and I have to literally stop and the woman sees me do it. And she's like, oh, one of these. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, you should probably just start doing it, going it anywhere, because I think yeah. that you're more likely to die. Okay, in okay. Any other situation anyway, we than weren't a plane here crash. for a long you're time. Driving, definitely <laughs> you're driving. I hope Let's you start all... kissing the the Hyundai. Okay, <laughs> I hope you all <laughs> learned something new about me. Us Weekly, you really missed out. Uh, Bye. Uh,